Hey folks, Quilly Team here, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Urban Empire! We're in Quilopolis here, we are in Era 2, we're currently trying to pass some safety authorities here, and I think we can unpawn some time, it's 1865, we are on our second ruler here, Giacomo, and ooh, we are cynical, we're cynical and an optimist! Oh, oh, apparently, okay, there's multiple ranks here, because I think for a while we had optimist, but there was no modifier. I think we've improved our optimism more than before, so now there's plus one goodwill from that, which is good, because hopefully it'll offset this negative goodwill we've got going on. We're also cynical, though, right? Less fun, less church social life, more brain power from high schools. Not that we have a high school yet. We'll see if we can't get one going on soon. We've got a lot of money and a lot of money coming in, which is fantastic. We're going to try to bring this into a, a little over two million. We're going to build our train station. We have just unlocked the university, which is good, as well as some sports clubs, um, edicts, and national romanticism. I'm really hoping that these lead to some interesting ways to maybe increase fun um, and maybe even improve safety by keeping the youth occupied. Uh, and that would be nice if it didn't cost as much in the way of money. I think the next thing we might research is electricity. Because again, we're kind of tech oriented, so that sounds fine. Ooh, we got an electricity event right away. Electrical innovations are spreading around the world. As your city administration is getting more familiar with the concept, the decision is required. You focus your effort to finding the easiest way to produce electricity, to transmit electricity, or to use electricity. Hum... I think we'll go for the way to produce it. I suspect that this will make a, maybe a power plant cheaper or more effective. I mean, I'm sure they all lead to, you know, different areas of value, but I'm going to go for producing it. And indeed, cost to build this building, electrical power plant, is 20% less. Doesn't reduce maintenance, unfortunately. I think that would have been nice in the long run, but we'll take what we can get over here. Income continues to increase month by month, which is great. I haven't been watching the city population here, 2055. I suspect it's probably static because it looks like most of our districts, yeah, have gone and and um, filled themselves out nicely. The demand right now is just slightly negative for everything, so we're not looking at much in the way of growth right now, but I'm totally okay with that. Most likely the growth will kick in again so once we improve some of these services. But again, yeah, I'll just sit on some money for a little while. Actually, that's pretty good. Let's go ahead. Oh, university's institution. <coughs> Do we want to rush that first? No, I think I'm going to go for the railway station. First of all, it does increase personal growth in, in a similar way to the university, although less so. It also gives fun, which we need, and it can be improved in a variety of different ways. So we're going to start with that, especially with negative fun. And choo-choo trains are awesome! So we're going to confirm the institution. Yeah, 2 million to build, 24k a month to maintain, which is fine now. Uh, everyone's in favor of it, and so we'll go ahead and spend 2 prestige just to accelerate that. Uh, so that we don't have to wait too long, but let's just confirm. Yeah, that's going to go quite easily. And the safety authorities, um, ooh, are not. Ooh, hold on. We've got to do some cajoling here. I didn't check on that. Um, we're going to go and threaten the chairman of the Free Democratic Party. Ooh, this did not move as much as I'd like. I don't think the safety authorities are going to go through here. We're going to block the next vote they want to pass. Yeah, neither one of these is being particularly effective, unfortunately. So I don't think we're going to be getting those. And if I recall correctly, it was going to be a good way to boost a lot of things quite easily. I probably shouldn't have bothered doing it because I'm probably just burning more goodwill that I might need to invest in the future. But at least we'll get a train station. A nationalist art. The most radical of the radical nationalists in the young Swirelian party with whom I have a relatively good relationship right now, because they're relatively liberal and left-leaning, if I recall correctly, they want Quilopolis to adopt national romanticism as the official art form. The city would give special recognition to artists who wish to participate in creating a strong national identity for Suarelia. It's a good idea, but the council must decide. So the end result of this is bonus to personal growth from theaters, but less fun from theaters. It's up to the council, or the idea is too dangerous to vote on. It would cost me a little bit of prestige not to address it in the first place. Huh. That's actually really interesting. I mean, the whole thing leans towards, like, more like more nationalism and independence, right? Less, in, less being part of the empire. If we look at where people will stand on this, I feel like if we try to pass this, it might not actually go. It's mostly just a very liberal thing. And most of their people are very conservative, whether they're left or right um, in terms of economic stances, they're still a fairly um, um, conservative bend. I think we're just gonna say this head is too dangerous to vote on because I don't think it's gonna pass. Oh, priest swore the idea and the young Swirelians had to drop it. It gives me goodwill from the old Swirelian party and tanks the goodwill from the young. Okay, well, that's what it is. It's just gonna have to be. 
All right, we're gonna wait for the train station to finish. I could speed up time. Oh, some people are influencing each other. Um, as long as we need to make sure the train station still passes. And absolutely, everyone's way in favor of it. Oh, I don't have any uh, spying going on on the old Swirelian party, so let's go ahead and get that going on. I think we had some dirt that we used. Safety authorities vote is gonna happen. God, it is neck and neck. Let's try to demand. Express my demands in a newspaper. Yeah, we might get it to go. Actually, it looks okay. Um, tell the party the most scientists support this. It increases deceitfulness, reduces honesty. Eh. Ah, just does nothing. All right, well, right now there's more people declared in favor, but I'm worried that the swing voters are really going to go against party lines and we're not going to go anywhere. But I guess it is what it is. Let's begin the vote and see how it goes. Looks like we're just barely going to squeak by here, but that's great because, yeah, it was a net, net bonus. We have more health from clinics and more um, more workplaces in clinics, so just more room for employees. And as far as I can tell, it's not going to cost us more. I mean, maybe we pay the employees more, but it also is a good make-work project. So we're still waiting for the train station to come in. We got lots of money for this, and people are way in favor. So let's go ahead and rip that in. And excellent. It's going to lead to a little bit more fun, because it's going to be citywide bonus to fun. Fantastic. Citywide bonus to fun. We've got the train station over here. Are there any upgrades? Oh, what does it do? Increases efficiency by 2%, I suspect, citywide as well. And upgrading increases the effectiveness, but we haven't unlocked any upgrades yet, so we're not going to do that. We did spend a lot of money. I would love to get the port and the university up soon, too. So again, I think I might not, you know, change too many things in town at this point. Uh, positive fun. Happiness is kind of eh. We could use a little bit more environmental effects overall, but I think we're just going to keep saving up for the institutions. I realize it might not be the most exciting part right now. Ooh, dark secret. The dark secret in the family of the young Swirelian party party leader. You just heard that his mother spent most of her life in a mental institution. Is there a way of using this information? I don't want to leak it to the press, because I actually don't want... I, I like having this party in control, but under my toe. So we're going to let him know that I have it. Which is going to give me some dirt, lose a little bit of goodwill. But, you know, the goodwill bounces back after a certain amount of time. It always tends towards zero. So as long as we don't mess with them too much, it should be okay. Electricity is done, so we can do electric street lights instead of um, gas grid. We might want to switch over to that, although I suspect we'll need the electric power plant, which apparently provides income to the city, so it's cheaper to build and might provide income. Ooh, especially as we produce more electrical grid. Well, there you go. Free public transport, electric lighting, yes, um... I think we'll keep going for the earlier techs over here, although there's not much of a time difference. You know, 90 months versus 108 months. This unlocks a lot of edicts. That might be fun. Also, a couple of new business types, which might increase our income. This unlocks the automobile for the elite class, as well as the fire station. Telephone um, does unlock banking as a business, as well as probably the ability to make a few tweaks to our zoning, but that might be expensive. The ability to dismantle a building, support asbestos insulation. Hey, that's good for stopping fire. Asbestos is awesome. Arms industry, stone surface, construction companies. Um, I think I'll go for representation rights. It's a little cheaper. It gives us actually a few new edicts that are probably cheap and or free to enact if we can get the support and might boost our the well-being of our citizens, as well as unlocking a couple new business types. And it seems to me that unlocking more business variety is probably a good thing. Um, I don't know how much it comes up, but I bet you it's all right. Okay, so I'm tempted to start the vote on the, um, on the port, because most likely by the time it finishes, we'll have enough money to buy it, but we may want to make sure that we've got a little bit of excess, just in case the economy dips as it seems to be doing now. Our monthly budget is going down a tiny little bit here. Part of that might be because some of the buildings or some of the businesses are reinventing themselves over here, so we'll see. I don't think I want to try too many edicts. I mean, unless, let's take a look. Who's in power right now? The Free Democratic Party, so again, conservative right-wing people, they're not going to support a whole lot of my edicts, so I don't think we're going to have much of a chance of passing them. So yeah, these sports clubs, what's the deal here? Oh, actually, everyone's in favor of this. Advocates of sports praise its health benefit in the sense of community in genders. Business advocates speak highly of the commercial benefits of high-level sport. Some believe that by investing in sport clubs, the government will be advocating greater social good. It gives bonus to health services. Um, it increases city expenses, that's true, but not by that much. For plus four health, like, wow. No, let's do that, especially since it's, ooh. See, they, they don't hate it. They just hate me, I think, is the, the problem over here. Um, these are the young Swalarians. 
Swirelians. I'm not going to use the dirt on them over here. We should probably sign up for some of the things that they actually specifically support, but um, there's only one reasonable choice. Excellent. And Free Democratic Party and negative nine goodwill over there. And wow, both of those guys, it's pretty bad. Over here, we have positive goodwill, so I'm going to say this will improve our nation's health. And you have physio in your name. I mean, how could you not vote it for it? Okay, uh, I'll try a little bit. Um, you demand help from the Free Democratic Party. You target every citizen. Same thing here. You oppose it, they oppose common sense. Parody dislikes you so much that your threats have no effect. Yeah, we're going to have to make a little bit better friends. But right now, things are slightly in our favor. So it'd be nice if this passed. Oh, um, oh, someone else wants to propose that full citizens act... I hear we proposed full citizen access to company ownership. Yes, I think that would be very good. Uh, this is going to increase demand for personal growth. Give us more brain power from the university, which we don't have. But also give us a bonus to personal growth services. So I think this is all in all going to be very good. Very good. Now, the problem is... How's this vote come along? See, these people hate me. It's like the force of a thousand suns here. Um, oh, I think I'm, I'm looking at the wrong one. Anyone can start a company? Oh, no. No, no. What's the right one? Minus ten. Minus ten. Young ones. Well, we're going to go ahead and use the... We're going to conspire against them. No option but to blackmail the Young Sporelian Party. Luckily, you know a member of the Young Sporelian Party has behaved shamefully. You send them a message demanding that they support or else embarrassing information will be released to the press. But if they refuse, will they actually send the information? No, I won't. Party decline and you let it go for now. Ah, lose some goodwill. All right. I think, I think I'm, I'm shooting myself a little too aggressively in the foot here. Most citizens agree with this. Um... You know, invite the party leader to dinner. Eh, it worked a little bit. They still don't like being, you know, manhandled, but... Yeah, I think I'm going to have to um, to pull back a little bit here. I would really love these things to pass. But more importantly, I think I'm going to need the port to pass. Port's going to give us a boost to social life. You know, people can, can travel a little bit more, get more visitors from abroad. I think it's going to be very healthy for our citizens to be able to do that. I mean, not literal health, but... Free Democratic Party win the election. Young Swirelian Party comes in second. Difference is 17%. Um, still, though, it's not the right party to be in control there. I got an achievement. An outpost in the wilderness. I don't know what that means. Is, did we just creep over 2,500? I bet you that's what happened. It looks like the vote may go in our favor over here. So I'm not gonna I'm not going to mess around with it because I'm concerned that I'm just going to cost myself too much goodwill in the future. So this is our sports club. This is very good for us. Thank you very much. We're going to do that. And then the anyone can start companies. Ah, it's really not good. Voting against. They don't like the Wheel of Life. Is it what the status of the current Wheel of Life that is impinging it? Or is it because this wouldn't improve the Wheel of Life? I don't think it would hurt. Well, I think actually anyone can start companies would actually tweak their demand for things. So they might feel like that will all in all lower the status of things. It's entirely possible. And when we have enough money bank now... Um, oh, there's the electric power plant to ruin the environment some more. Um, you know what? Let's go with the university first. We have to place it. So let's say I were to place it here. Three personal growth, also 20 brain power, and that would be $3 million. Okay, that was the question I was most curious about. So we're going to cancel that. The port is very affordable, and I think that was over here. So we're going to do that. That was half a million. Doesn't do quite as much. Everyone's really in favor of it, so we'll just do the quick vote. Just double check that, yeah, that's that's indeed true. Everyone's happy about the port. So we'll do that. I suspect most people will be happy about the university as well. Hereby propose that children under the age of 10 may not be hired for certain employment. I think that would actually be an excellent idea. Um, increases demand for social life while also giving a boost to it. More brain power as well. <sighs> if I oppose it, does it just not pass? Tell you what, I'm going to oppose this one. New laws may ban children from under 10 from heavy work environments. Because I actually want it, but I was going to say, I bet you by opposing it publicly, it might, I don't know, switch things. Although these guys were definitely going to go for it. Um, so if I'm opposing it, then I'm going to be pulling people against? Is that it? Yeah, I'm just going to leave it be. I think, like... <laughs> I 
I think these guys, because of, I don't know what, I I'm not sure, I might actually, like, by publicly coming out against it, everyone who hates me may decide to vote for it, I'm not sure. So I'm not going to mess with it. Fever in Hope Mill. Fe a fever epidemic is raging through Hope Mill. Several people have already died. How do you fight the disease? We can build fever sheds, which costs us insignificant money. Uh, set whole Hope Mill under quarantine until the epidemic subsides, or the disease must be treated in their homes. I assume fever sheds is more expensive, and it probably means fewer people in Hope Mill will die as we just quarantine the specifically ill. So I'm going to do that. Many families refuse to give their diseased members to fever sheds, and there's not enough manpower to force them. As a result, if the epidemic is prolonged. Oh, man! Pen penalty to health, but there's a social life bonus, so I guess that's a thing, but... Aye, that sucks. All right, we are voting on the new institution. We are going to begin voting. It's going to easily pass, and just like that, we have a port. So 1.5 million to build and a fair amount to maintain, but we will get a much-needed boost to our social life over here. Excellent. And we don't have any upgrades for you. Think again, more efficiency. I don't know if that's for this building or citywide. Yeah, no, no upgrades unlocked, but that'll be quite valuable later on. Victory step completed. Royal Harbor. Nice. Yeah, again, I mean, we try to use the dirt again over here. The thing is, I don't want people not to vote for these guys. Yeah, we're going to, I'm going to leave it be. I'm going to leave it be. Because I'm just worried that we are not making enough in the way of friends. Got the money. Population, yeah, continues to go up, which is great, despite the fact that I haven't built anything new in a while. It's actually a little bit of residential and commercial demand, so we actually may want to build a new district soon, or what I could do is increase the density of Center Quill over here. So I'm probably our most developed district. It's gonna, it's getting covered by a lot of institutions, um, or I should say, sort of city services, so it seems to me that increasing the, the density of this would maybe be best. Plus, it's the center of town. Here, pro pro proposed anti-water pollution legislation be enacted. Pollution is bad, and actually, environments is kind of a poop area of our of our city, and you know maybe because of the polluted water. So I will try to support this one, and we'll see if this works. Yeah, people are against it. Wow, you're. I don't understand why you're so opposed to it. Physiocratic, come on. I'm gonna threaten you. No demand. Come on, ask them to reconsider one last time. Come on, guys, be a be a bro. Yeah, there you go. Um, I would really like this to pass, actually. Reconsider one last time. Okay, good. That's a little something. We're kind of in a tie now. I doubt I can move many of these people, so I'm not going to stress too much. I'll have to try again a little bit later with these fellows. Um, ah, ban heavy work under 10-year-old is going to pass, which is wonderful. Anyone can start a company is looking like it's not going to pass. There's a lot of council members here. Uh, come on, I'm going to burn more goodwill over here, but maybe... Praise the positive effects behind your position. Let's draw it. We might be able to get this to go. I don't know. We'll, we'll have to give it one last kick of the can when it's about to, uh, to, to wrap up, and we'll see how it goes. Marriage scandal. You attend a fine dinner at Whitburg, attended by local nobility. The ladies and gentlemen of Whitburg have but one topic of conversation, the scandalous marriage of Anton von Schonberg. Having reached the age of 45, the man has suddenly decided to marry his longtime housekeeper, Lucilla. His family are mortified that he's marrying so far beneath him. The lady next to you asks your opinion. How do you answer? If I were his father, I'd disown him. Maybe it's true love. Isn't that romantic? Try to make a bad joke. We're an optimist. You know, maybe it's true love. Isn't that romantic? We're going to improve our points towards socialite trait. All right. Lady blushes and smiles back. You spend a delightful evening discussing about the advantages of love marriages. Aw, isn't that sweet? All right. Let's take a look here. This is tight. We're going to go and... Um, it's the, only the intellectual changes can oppose the proposal. Make them feel ashamed if they oppose you. Yeah, shame! Shame! And let's do a little bit of work over here, too. If they oppose common sense, they don't do it. Okay. Anti-water. Anti-water pollution, rather. Banning heavy work is looking good. And anyone can start companies is also looking good. We're going to see if we can't, um, you know, address every citizen over here. Oh, citizens are going to be less likely to vote for the Free Democratic Party over here. Wonderful, actually. Really good, I think, for, for my position overall. Hopefully more of the undecideds will switch over here. Because this is the... Yeah, this is the big party. 25. 14 is pretty good here, too. 
Goodwill is starting to dip over here. I'm going to try not to stress it too much, but we'll see what we can do. If we pass a few of these, we might, you know, get a little bit more prestige and make some people like this a little bit more. Although we oppose the ban heavy work, which is really funny. Oh, you're appealing. What's student life over here? There was a minor scandal at the university. A few students drank too much wine, behaved badly at the campus. Now the papers are wondering if students have any manners at all. You have a university background, so your opinion is valued. How do you com comment the situation? We can rebuke the students, gain a bonus towards Luddite and a penalty towards Progressive, which doesn't sound like us. So it's just student life. It makes us more soft, less cruel. Uh, yeah, all right, sure, fine. Uh, increases fun for students, uh, but ruins some goodwill with the old Swirelian party, which... Is a little disappointing because I kind of need as much support as possible. There's also a fight in the council here. Free Democratic Council, Mr. Varga, attacked Physiocratic Counselor. Um, the Varga must be a madman. We're going to try to tank a little bit of support for that party, gain a little bit more for the other one, and see how things can do. Okay. On pause again. Got a lot of money in the bank. I'd like to get up to 3 million so we can build a university. Although, I don't remember, we might actually have the high school stuff. Um, I'm actually wondering about building it in Edgeworth over here. Let me take a quick look. Uh, services... No, we haven't actually unlocked the high school. Oh, university shows up in here too. Interesting. I don't think so, anyway. We have vocational schools, which we've never built. Okay, so I can't mouse wheel scroll this. That's good to know. Small parks. We should probably build more parks. And get the power plant at some, at some point. Personal develop. Fun's still one of the biggest problems, as well as environment. I'm assuming the small park's quite cheap, actually. We've got... I guess these are parks that already exist. So I suppose I should probably build one somewhere over here. Can I build it, like, in the middle? Oh! Oh! Because I'm in the wrong district. Hold on. Cancel. Cancel. Confirm that I want to cancel Hope Mill instead. I will modify you to get a small park. Excellent. There we go. Because you don't have anything improving the environment. Everyone's greatly in favor of it, in, in theory. Again, they might oppose it because they hate me. But it's also pretty cheap. And yeah, everyone looks like it's going to be pretty positive. Um, we're going to go ahead and make that proposal. I could have used even my personal funds if I didn't want to vote, which is something to consider going forward. Let's take a look at the existing votes. That's going to pass. That's going to pass. This is not going to pass. All right, let's try the conspire. We're gonna blackmail them. People aren't gonna vote for this party, which is disappointing, and they hate me, but it didn't actually do anything. What about over here? They respect me at all, they'll vote yes, but they don't actually respect me, so I'm not sure that was a brilliant way to go. You need to understand how important this issue is. And here too, we're gonna do one more to hand. Uh, this decision will give us a better tomorrow. Oh, it's all right. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see, maybe we'll get lucky and everything will pass, but I'm not sure. So yeah, we'll see if you can boost our environment a little bit more citywide. We don't have anything in Whitburg yet. Place where that marriage was, but we'll see how it goes. Okay. Well, let's begin the, the voting. So, anti-water pollution. Sounds fantastic. Um, it is increasing brain power at the railway station, which is nice. As well as increasing the demand, but also the bonus to, um, to the environment. End of water pollution. Great. Uh, end of the heavy labor for children is also going to pass, which I'm very excited about, despite the fact that I came out publicly against it, but that was that was a clever ploy. So overall, we should get some social life bonuses for adults, as well as some brain power to grammar school, which is great. We're not going to overrule because I'm not opposed to this. And anyone can start companies. I don't know if I can, I'll be able to appeal anymore. I'm going to threaten over here. Threaten them with personal consequences. I think we just got to go for the vote. I don't think that, like, beating on these people anymore is going to work. So, I will begin this. Oh, wow, that is so tight. Oh, my God, it passed by one. Yes! 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 There were more people that were already, like, you know, dedicated to one branch versus the other. But look at the uh, industrial demand just dive. Probably because of some of this change with the kids. We're going to get more brain power from universities once we get that going. That probably because more kids are going to be educating themselves. More personal growth demands, but also a little bit of bonus, bonus to personal growth is kicking in. Okay. Whew. That was close. It's finally reality. Anyone can start a company. Wonderful. All right. We're going to have to let some of these things um, like balance themselves out again. Modify the district. We're going to get that park. Yeah, that's going to go easily. 
not worried about that. So environment will boost even more. It boosted because of the clean water, but now it's going to boost even more from this park, which is relatively cheap to go. If we let it tick for a month here, we should see. Yeah, there we go. Not a huge tick because it's mostly just centered around this one area. Although I could go ahead and endorse this service with personal funds to go and amplify the area of the park, which gets more bang for its buck. And that might not be a terrible idea. Okay, so I think I'm going to be back to just trying to bank a little bit of money for the city treasury and see if we can't get a university up and running sooner rather than later because um, I would like a lot more brain power. Plus, we could get even more personal growth. Our, our personal growth is really good right now. The worst thing right now is the fun. And actually, the, uh, the, the health isn't great either, and it might not be a bad idea to go and improve that. But all these things cost a lot of money, so we have to prioritize. University, extra clinic, extra theater. I don't know. I'm going to lead towards the university, although I could also build a vocational school, which is a lot cheaper, probably. But I think one university does the whole city, and it'll be nice to do that. So we're going to put a cut in here, and next time we'll see if we can't get that up. But we did get two institutions going on. Um, we've got our port over here, which is very nice. Citywide boost to social life is really nice, and presumably efficiency for some of the industrial areas, which might be why one of the, uh, the industrial demands has dropped, actually, because we sort of don't need more. I'm not sure exactly. Um, I think they're complaining because they don't have access to water, sewage, or electric grid over here, but they do have gas, so they would quite like that. Um, we'll see. That's another thing to consider, is if we wanted to go and, say, increase the density of here, although, well, there's residential demand, which is something over here. It's mostly residential, so if we did that, and also say we added um, electricity... Main infrastructure demand for companies. Electricity also unlocks a lot of infrastructure options for the district. If we did that, we could get electric streetlights instead of the gas lights. I wonder if that's cheaper. Two and one. Now it's about the same price to maintain as the gas lights. Also unlocks the tram line, which is interesting. Traffic points for the district. Actually, or all districts? It's very expensive, though, to build the tram line. Yeah, so I don't know if we would do the electricity, which would be relatively expensive to build. Because as is, the zoning change would cost a million bucks to implement and 47k a month to maintain. It would give us, of course, a lot more possibility for people in this zone, though. In a zone that already has access to a lot of services. So that does sound really good. But I still may decide to save up to 3 million bucks for our university. We'll see how it goes. Thanks for watching. See you next time.